just primarily wanted to know that uh, if you hire anybody from any B school, like what are your expectations of, out of a student that what you look at as a key ingredient in them as an HR person? Sure. So I don't expect uh, cat's whiskers from campuses, but what I do expect is, um, personally this is my own view that it, their quality of thinking is for me very important criteria. And, and in today's world, the quality of thinking uh, and the depth in which one tends to uh, approach a subject or, or an area. And uh, beyond that, it's the sharpness in terms of, uh, uh, it, uh, again, it's again it's not necessarily the quality, but also the sharpness and the agility with which one uh, tends to approach. And, uh, these are some of the traits that I do see. And obviously, um, I mean, if I come to the campus, most important is that in our own value system, from whichever company we come, have our own set of values we have our own set of dna so in that kind of an assessment in the campus besides what i have mentioned i also look at will this person fit in in that culture all right i'll be very honest with you there are you know most of the time they, it fits in but there are times when we do make errors in judgment in terms of the fitting in and that to my mind my 22 years of experience, I have noticed that the culture fit in is where actually we lose talent. And that for me is also very important to assess when we are looking at candidates from uh, campuses. Yeah, so to be on, uh, I'm a faculty, so I'm on this side of the table, right? Yeah. So I'm always uh, having this notion in me that, uh, you know, corporate should let us know what more should we be doing so that we connect between the academia and the corporate is more um, bonding and you know there is less of a gap and uh, we can enhance the students employability and make them as you said culture ready make them ready for your organization so you don't have to do much for training and they are already made the uh, product for you yeah so what's the, what's the question? So we really want to know that what suggestions you could actually give us, uh, you know, so that the gap between the academy and corporate can be bridged up. And uh, because uh, if you're coming as a recruiter, we really don't know what are your expectations. Domain and we know, but as an HR, what are your expectations? As you said, that cultural ready, right? So how do you ensure that that is there already? Well, I... I Personally, having passed out from a B school myself, I don't think, you know, beyond the curriculum that an institute uh, uh, does, what I need is, yeah, as I said, uh, you know, the other point that the depth of understanding and, and that depth of understanding is from the subjects that you teach. So it's suppose you take one aspect of any subject, you should know it in complete in its entirety. Is, so that is one expectation so and and the uh, for example the summer interns who do projects with us I keep telling them that forget about a PPI or a PPO or whatever it's also important that if you really want to see these projects getting implemented and if you want to get that kit then continue your relationship with your guide and, and the whole purpose is to get into that being an expert or a into that one particular subject or area, you know, how much of uh, expertise and, and depth uh, that I have. Having said that, on the on the um, cultural piece or the behavioral aspects, I think it's important for the institutes also to look at grooming. Okay. Grooming as in? The, the, uh, not in terms of etiquettes, etc. It's in terms of more of personal grooming, the personality grooming. Grooming of personality, in my view, is very important where it's just not, obviously, it's just not appearance or outward looks. It's the personality in terms of, you know, um, uh, what kind of uh, positivity can I, or result orientation, uh, you know, the ability to lead, basic leadership traits. And it is not a course. It is, it is that personality grooming, which is 
essentially the traits that corporates often want to look at. It's leadership, it's, it's the uh, ethical orientation, it's the result orientation, it's, the, uh, it's, it's, it's in terms of what kind of, uh, how do I bring in positivity, what kind of energy do I need to show. You know, so, so there, there, the whole gamut of one being built for the corporate. The other piece which uh, while I'm talking I realize that you know the, the, the we do a session in Amway which is called the uh, you know when the management trainees join us. So from campus to corporate right? and that's uh, the two days that we do but I sense this transition from campus to corporate Campuses can do a lot of work on that as well by calling people from corporate. Yeah, actually, we do have a we do have a mentoring program where we have corporate mentors coming mentoring our students. We do have a corporate skill development where corporates come and uh, you know do a CST with our students. We also have a corporate to campus program at NDI, right? So where we invite corporate trainers. We have already been doing that, right? So and. Um, that's what we wanted to know, that what more should we be doing. Yeah, but I won't know what exactly you're doing, but, but these are these are what I believe True. is important. It's just not like in our times, which is long years back, it's we were only focused on subjects. And I'm happy if you, what you're saying, if you are getting into that, but I think the overall leadership slash personality grooming of an individual before he or she migrates from campus to a corporate environment that ability so so there are a lot of factors you know it's resilience it's, it's the maturity that you That's bring right. in the absolutely and the younger generation have a different opinion about certain things that reflects in their attitude so we try to you know put all that uh, in one place put it into a constructive mm. outlay that's i think what you are really looking for uh, I, I, I personally, you know, I don't put too much of importance on this so-called uh, youngsters thinking differently. Because, you know, everyone comes with his or her thinking and once upon a time we were also young. That's right. So no, what yeah. exactly I want to say is that they're out of box thinking to give it to a more structural outlook so that it can be more constructive for the organization. That's where yeah, we I know. as a mentor play. Yeah, I know, but, but that's applicable for generations. You know, that's it's right. not nothing to do with today's generation. It's it's yeah, the, so so specific to today's generation, you know, the uh, in fact uh, last two, three days I was interacting with the interns, I was interacting with the management trainees for the projects that we are doing. I, I, it's a very welcome change, you know. It's it's a way they see things are, are right. different from the way we used to think, and is a freshness which comes in. And, and you know, uh, I like people who join campuses. And besides what I've said, it's also what kind of freshness. How do I think differently within the same parameters and the paradigm? Is what also impresses me in youngsters so and, and yeah. yes they are tech savvy they are digitally more yeah. uh, advanced in today's world as compared to the uh, previous years and, and these are good signs yes absolutely yeah, I good agree. Signs. Yeah. so i would just fund my final question so how do you think about uh, what do you think about this even the symposium that we are organizing and uh, what do you feel uh, these kind of uh, ventures uh, these schools are doing, especially RP school? So, what's your general opinion? Firstly, you know, I've not attended from morning, and my apologies because I've just come in. So, I really won't know what has uh, gone into the uh, first half of the, uh, of the event. But having said that, uh, you know, when the practitioners and the academicians come together it's always a welcome thing to do you know and when institutes do this in such a large scale i'm assuming it's a large scale 
it's uh, yeah it's a pretty large scale we have uh, people from uh, corporates we have people from professional walks of life right you know? right so we were very overwhelmed with the right. response that we received right so yeah. it's it's uh, i mean i also actually like the concept and that's why uh, you know it has, it has been a real uh, tough day for me to have come out from gurgaon and, we do uh, really appreciate your being here. I sir. came here and I will be uh, leaving at about three three thirty. But I think the 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 uh, point to respond to your point is, um, you know, it, it's important that, and I'm happy that institutes like uh, NIDM is uh, doing these programs wherein you're bringing professionals, practitioners, academicians all together. And, and coming out with uh, um, modules for future research because that that actually what evolves uh, organization that is what brings that it's it's a good it's a good indicator of progressive thinking in my view you know? so if I, if I if I talk of progressive thinking this is one great example you know? Thank you so much, yeah, sir, for being here.